Hello, good evening. Can you hear me, Mr. Portillo? Hello. Always. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I was worried. Hello, Mr. Carlos. We're going to have a private and personalized class. Only you and I, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? Where are your classmates? I swear to you. Think so? It's a holiday? It's a holiday? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Isn't it Independence Day? No, no. Independence Day is gone. Is <laughs> it um, Children's Day? Is it Children's Day? No. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. There's no holiday. I think they are late. They are late. I'm going to send them a message. Mm -hmm. So what's up, sir? How you doing today? Good. Good. You? Oh, I'm great, man. I'm great. Um, it was a nice day. It was a very nice day for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. In the morning, I I usually teach a class, in person class, and um. It's a basic one, so I really like to see the, the students' progress. And in the afternoon, I'm always off. So usually I take a nap or I check some exams. I plan some classes. Then I have university classes at um, about 5 p.m. And then I have my class with you. Nice. It's nice, huh? Yeah. 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 So I finish my my work day at at nine p.m. After that, I go get my dinner. You know, look something to calm to calm my stomach down, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, maybe watch some videos or or I don't know, watch some memes and stuff like that. Give me one moment, please. Okay, somebody's trying to call me, but I don't know who. Hello, Miss uh, Salazar. Good evening. How's it going? Hello. Yes, I'm listening. No le entendí, perdón. I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Okay. Teacher, I don't understand, teacher. Teacher, I don't understand. Can you please repeat? Can you please repeat? Ah, that's best, Miss Salazar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My question is, how is it going today? I'm fine. Oh, yeah? Yes. You had a good day today. Yes. It was? Productive. A very productive day. What do you do, Miss Patricia? Um, it's, uh... <laughs> No lo, puedo decir, no lo puedo decir en inglés, o sea, soy ama de casa, cuido mm -hmm. eh, la casa, este, voy a traer a mi hija al colegio, a la menor, así paso. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. se dice ama de casa, eh, guys?
Como housewife. Housewife. Es como... Ama de casa. Okay. So you're a housewife. A housewife is... Housewife is a very difficult job, miss. It's a very demanding job. It's a very absorbing job. It's not easy, I imagine. Right? Hey, who's that behind you? Who's that behind you? Who's that behind you? My leak. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it's my leak. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, welcome. Let me talk to Patricia Salas. Already talked to me. What about Elizabeth, Miss Mejia? How you doing this evening? What a pleasure. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Wow, what a surprise. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. What happens is that you're very early today. You're very early. You're very on time. I see your camera activated and I, I like talking with you. So how's it going, Miss Elizabeth? How's your day? How is everything? So-so. No kidding. Yes. What's the matter? Uh, I work very hard this day. Oh, that's great. That's not so so for me. That's great. You worked very hard. You were very productive for your company, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Anything else? Anything new? Uh, nothing new because. Uh, I, I eat, I have a, eaten. Mm -hmm. yet. What, what yes. have you eaten? Oh, you haven't eaten yet. Yes. Oh, you haven't eaten yet. Yeah. You're going to eat after the class? Yeah. Sometimes oh. I. Sometimes you do. You say sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Mejia. Great, great, great. Welcome to the class. Get ready. Get ready to take notes, to ask questions, to participate as much as you can. I love that attitude. I love it. Este día estoy con, sin cámara, guys, porque estoy usando mis datos, ¿ok? Tenemos un poquito de problemas acá. Si activo la cámara, pues me voy a quedar ahí cargando. Se va a quedar ahí loading, loading, loading. <ríe> Solo les pido ahí las disculpas. What's up, Miss Melendez? How you doing today? What's going on with your life? I'm so tired. I have already arrived to my house to San Salvador. Really? Hola, hola. But yes. but you're very young, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you can't be tired. Me, I should be tired. But you, you can't be tired. You're very young. Pero me canso. <laughs> you have more energies than Elizabeth and myself together. <laughs> Right, Elizabeth? She's very young, right? <laughs> yes, she is very, very young and In... she is very, very beautiful. Oh, oh and, yeah. And I can't. No, I... And you too, you're very beautiful I, too. I, I, no, <laughs> I think she uh, is very energy. 
Energetic. Energetic, yes. Yes. I, I was uh, I was going and for my job too. Mm -hmm. uh, very very traveled for the one point. Uh, the this San Salvador to uh, another cities in the old country, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And I I was uh, returning returning mm -hmm. to my house very tired too. Actually I, yeah a trip a trip is very tiring. When you have to travel from one place to another place, it's tiring. Your back, yeah. your body, your muscles. Yeah, because I I travel. No, I trip every day. Okay, you say because I I have to travel every day. You have to travel yeah. every day. I have to travel every day mm -hmm. in my last show. Mm -hmm. And now? Yes. And now I stayed only in office because my crash, no. Como se dice, horario. Schedule. Uh, I see my schedule is prolonged. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So what else? Let me see. I have Samuel Rodriguez, welcome to your English session. How is it going, Good gentlemen? Teacher. What's new with you? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing new, huh? Nothing new. Same routine, huh? Same everyday routine. <laughs> well, I am very happy, guys, to tell you that we have been very, um, how could I say that? We have done, or we have, we have done a very good job as far as the content and the material. We have covered everything. So we have three more classes, counting this. Um, to take advantage of our speaking, to take advantage of conversations. So I'm going to encourage each of you to try your best to practice your English, to try your best to increase your speaking skills in these three classes left um please do please do try to participate as much as you can now we're going to uh, focus on present perfect we will continue with present perfect since it's a very very tricky topic it's a very um complicated complex topic now, I'm going to send you a link, okay? On this link, you will be able to find several different questions using the present perfect. I want you to see all the questions. I want you to check any unusual vocabulary, um, or new expressions to you. Tell me if you have any question right now. And I want you to choose two or three questions so you can interview one of our classmates today. So check, take, take some time right now. Take two or three minutes to check the questions. And you can make me any question about it. We can solve any doubt about it, okay? Did you open the link?
Wow, we only have a yes. few students. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven students. My goodness. Okay. Are you checking the questions, Elizabeth? Repeat again, please. Are you are you checking the questions? The last class. No, I just posted a link on the chat. No, I don't you. Can you go to the chat on meets on 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 Teams? I'm sorry. Teams. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Here on on Zoom. This is Zoom. I'm silly. Um. I just posted a, um, Jancy, can you share this chat, this uh, link also in the WhatsApp chat? Maybe it's helpful. Can you help me with that? Can you copy and paste this link mm -hmm. on the WhatsApp chat? No. And let me know if you have any problem. Marbelli, did you open the link? <laughs> Okay, check the questions and tell me if you have any, any doubt. Okay. If you don't have questions or doubts, go ahead and make the selection of two or three questions. So make the selection, choose. Choose through two or three questions because we're going to have a big talk right now based on present perfect. Ahora, si nos adentramos en una conversación partiendo de una pregunta en present perfect, Podemos hacer follow-up questions, como preguntas de seguimiento. En, en las preguntas de seguimiento, las follow-up questions, ustedes ahí pueden variar. Y ahí podemos practicar hasta el límite, ya que ustedes podrán hacer preguntas siempre en present perfect. O ahí pueden usar preguntas en simple, past. Como, did you like it? Did you try this? Uh, etc. Or, or who did you go with, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. So pretty much what we're going to do is that we're going to interview some students and we're going to get to know information. This is gonna get personal. This is gonna get a little personal. So we're going to interview some students using these questions. Do we have one volunteer to get interviewed? or victims. <laughs> Wanna be a volunteer? I, Jancy. I, sir. Okay. Oh, we have two volunteers. Oh, my goodness. No worries. We have time. We have time. Let's start with Jancy. OK. Uh, guys, please take your questions. Take your questions down and let's get ready. I'm going to open the conversation with one question. Yancy, have you ever been on TV? That I remember I haven't. Okay. Thank you. Whenever possible, we're going to try to use already. We're going to try to use yet. Okay. We're going to try to use since. And we're going to try to use for. 
Okay. That's the, your objective. Try to use those expressions. Esas expresiones son para exclusivamente present perfect tense. Questions for Yancy. Go ahead. Va, me deben un minuto ya porque no han dicho nada. Okay. I think your classmates are nervous, Yancy. Okay, you don't want to practice, I want to practice. Okay, Ms. Melendez, I have one more question for you. Have you ever tried riding a skateboard? No, I never have. How ride it? I would like, but I don't have. Okay, okay. No. I have never tried it. Write it and say it. Have you ever surfed? Surfed. No, I have never surfed. You have never surfed. Can you try to use yet? Uh-huh, uh-huh, is your answer, uh-huh. No, I haven't surfed yet. Uh-huh, no, I haven't surfed yet. I haven't surfed, surfed yet. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Next question. How long have you studied English? Studied. Studying English. Study? Studied. Studied. How long have you studied English? Please, Jancy, before you answer, try to see which of these expressions can you use. Already, yet, since, or for. One of these expressions can be useful for you. How long have you studied English? I have studied English for 13 years. So years. 13 years? Yes, when I, was, when I was two years old in the college. Correct. The teacher told me. Yes, remember that. Remember, guys, that these generations now this new 2000 generations uh they get english classes from kindergarten on and this is something people from my generation had i didn't have that opportunity <laughs> so that's why jancy's english is very well that's why jancy's english is very up to date next question I haven't heard Samuel. I haven't heard Elizabeth. I haven't heard Patricia. I haven't heard Ruth. I haven't heard Emma. I haven't heard Marbelli. What happened? What happened? What happened? Whoever plays soccer, Samuel. Vaya, ahora me hablaron todos al mismo tiempo. Uno más. ¿Quién me dice? Un voluntario. One volunteer. Arroz. Ok, Elizabeth. Si no le gusta comer, no comprar una mierda de arroz. Marbelli. What sports have you played? 
What sports have you played? Después de ella vas tú, Samuel, ¿ok? La, estamos entrevistando ahorita solo a Jancy. Uno por uno okay. les va a tocar, ¿ok? ¿Ok, Jancy? Ok, I have played basketball. I have played soccer, badminton. Mm, tennis. I think. Great, thank you. Samuel, go ahead, Samuel. Your turn. I know, uh, yeah. What interesting foods have you eaten? Can you please repeat some? What interesting foods have you eaten? Okay, repeat. What interesting? What interesting? What interesting food? What interesting foods have, have you? you have you eaten? Uh -huh. What interesting food have you eaten, Miss Melendez? Besides mm, Salvadorian. Have... Salvadorian food? No, besides, besides. Ah, okay. Um, I have eaten Korean food. It's interesting for me. Mm -hmm. Korean food. And I don't know. I don't remember. Try to use these expressions already, yet, since, or for. My question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? No, I haven't eaten yet. You haven't eaten Mexican food? Oh, well, yes, yes. I have eaten tacos. I have uh -huh. eaten tacos. Yeah. Okay, but, but wait, but wait. What expression can you use? What expression can you use? Um, A ver, chicos, cuando es positiva, ¿qué, qué expresión puedo usar? I can I've already. already. I've already, yes. I have already. I've yeah. already eaten tacos, gringas, tortas, burritos, right? What happened? Yeah. What happened? Huh? <laughs> I didn't remember. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, vamos. One more question. La última para uh, Jan. Si creo que Marbelli tenías una. You have one question, Miss Marbelli. Sí. Uh, esta se la había hecho a Samuel. Have you ever played soccer? Ah, para Sam. Okay, okay. Sam, have you ever played soccer? Yes, I've already played it. Wonderful. Vamos a entrevistar ahora a Samuel. Todos, chicos, prepare your questions. Jancy, good job. Trata de usarme already, yet, since, and for, lo más que puedas, cuando aplique, ¿ok? So, I have already played it. Ah, ok, ok. Questions for Sam. Mm, ok, Sam. In your life, have you ever shot a gun? Have you ever shot a gun? Have you ever shot a gun? Yes. I've already... Shot. Shot. S-H-O-T, shot. shot. Is the shot. past participle or the simple past of which verb? Shoot. Shoot. Que es disparar. Shot. Uh -huh. shot. Sería shot. Shot. I've already shot it. Or I already shot a gun. And why you did that? <laughs> <laughs> really, Samuel, you have already shot a gun? It's true? Boca. Mm. Uh oh. What's that? You okay? Only so practice, practice to Hey, the, um, I have a personal question, Samuel, for you. Do you have a license for, for your gun? Perdón. A license. You know what is a license? No, 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 no sé. Es una, no, 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 no. es una licencia, license. 
No, no, como le digo, solamente era la respuesta figurada por... por, por ah, it was just video. an example. En realidad, no. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, I'm sorry. Nosotros los tomamos así bien como que... Bien en serio, right? Ok. Next question for Sam. Sandra, you gotta access the uh, link. Do you have access to the link? There is a link where you can find many questions. It's on the chat here and also in the WhatsApp chat, okay? Open the no link. Parece. No te parece. Y en el, y en el, bueno, vamos a volver a poner, espérame. I'm gonna put it again. Okay. What about now? What about now? Yes. Okay. Check the questions and select the best questions that you like. One more question for Sam, please. Me, what's the craziest thing to have ever done? What's the craziest thing you have ever done? What is the craziest? Yeah, what is the craziest thing you have ever done? This is a little personal question. ¿Qué es lo más loco que has hecho en tu vida? What is the craziest thing? Decirlo en inglés para que no te escuche tu mami ahí, que por ahí anda. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I. I. Crisis. No, 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 no. This is, this is, is, this is not a just no question. Esta pregunta no comenzó con, con have you ever. Si la pregunta comienza con have you ever, es como una just no question que tú vas a decir yes, I already did that, or no, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, pero ella, la pregunta te, te comenzó con what. What ya es de información, ¿verdad? What is the craziest thing? ¿Cuál es la cosa más loca? Tú vas a decir, the craziest thing. Repeat, the craziest thing. Básicamente vamos a usar lo mismo de la pregunta. The cra crazy, craziest thing I have done. I have done. Y puedes dar la, la introducción así, ¿verdad? O puedes decir tal cual lo que has, lo que ha pasado, lo que has hecho. Hasta se me desconectó. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde está Sam? ¿Qué pasó? Yo creo que el Inter se le fue. ¿Será? Sí, Vaya. sí, porque se congeló la imagen antes de que se fuera. Eso me llega. Men supporting men. Right? <laughs> ok, solo por eso Vámonos con Carlitos Make questions to Mr. Portillo Prepare your questions Es que mira, esa pregunta Sí te saca de tu zona de confort ¿Verdad? Porque Well, I have I have done alguna travesura Tienen que decir ahí, ¿verdad? I have broken a dish, I don't know Something like that Let's make questions to Carlos Let's go What have you done a lot of this week? What have you done a lot this week? What have you done a lot this week? ¿Se entiende esa pregunta, chicos? No? A lot, es mucho. ¿Qué has hecho así bastante, demasiado esta semana? Hay algo que esta semana tú has hecho así muchísimo, muchísimo. What have you done a lot this week? You have drank soda a lot. You have worked a lot. Uh, you have, I don't know. You have chatted on WhatsApp too much. I don't know. Uh, I watched Netflix. Present perfect, Carlos. What is the auxiliary? Have. Have. I have watched Netflix. A lot. A lot. Okay. Watched. Watch. Watched. I have watched. watched. I have watched Netflix. I have watched Netflix. A lot. 
a lot. Que es muchísimo, ¿verdad? Good job, good job. Ojo ahí. Next question, please. Next question. I'm sorry, teacher. I, I lost my connection. No te preocupes. Vamos a regresar contigo en un momento, ¿ok? Eh, Carlos, next question for Carlos. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, I have a question for you, Carlos. Yes. Have you been, have you ever been slapped? Have you ever been slapped? Like, do you know what is slapped? Bofeado. Como que te han dado así en la, en la, así en la cachetada, así. Bah. Stop yes. It. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, I. ¿Cómo sería? I. Ever? Escucha la pregunta, escucha la pregunta, porque ahí está todo. Have you ever been slapped? Yes, I ever slapped. Vaya, y la respuesta va a ser con eh, present, presente perfecto siempre, Carlos. Y vas a usar el verbo que tú tienes en la pregunta, que es el verbo be en este caso en su pasado participio. Yes, I have been slapped. Ahora, mi pregunta es, ¿qué expresión puedes usar ahí? Already, yet, for, or since. Yet. Yet is for questions and negatives. Oh, really? La tuya era afirmativa porque sí te ha tocado pasar por ese momento doloroso, ¿verdad? Entonces <laughs> tienes que usar already. Vamos. Yes, I have been slapped already. Vale, entonces ahora vamos a, eh, a la, al posicionamiento de already. Vamos a decir yes. Yes. I I have, I, o la contracción, usualmente decimos la contracción, yes, I've, y ahí va, yes, already, yes, I've, in, already, yes, I've already been slapped, yes, I've already been slapped, ojo en la posición de already, donde va already ahí, verdad, después del have, puedes decir normal, yes, I have, Yes, I have already been slapped. Or contraction. Yes, I've already been slapped. Teacher, what does it mean slap? Slapped es cuando alguien toma un impulso con la mano y te da un golpe en tu cachete. Es una cachetada. Slap es en el presente, ¿verdad? Slapped. Con T. T sound. ¿Se acuerdan del T sound? Slapped. Yes. Los que terminan con P, los que terminan con K eh, y, son, y son regulares, ED, los pronunciamos con T al final. Ok. One more question for Carlos y vámonos de regreso después con Sam. Ok. One more question for Carlos. Ojo, tratemos de usar las expresiones already, yet, since, and for, clarificando. Already es para afirmativas, ¿verdad? Affirmatives, already. Yet es para negatives y para questions. Ahora, for and since, eh, pueden usarlo ya sea en negativo o positiva. Eh, ahí la diferencia es que since es para una fecha específica, right? Un tiempo específico. For es para un periodo. Last question for Carlos. Okay, I have a question. Go for it. For you. Have you ever screamed? Así se dice? Screamed? Screamed? Screamed at someone in public? Have you ever screamed? At someone in public. Public. It's public. Public. Have you ever screamed at someone in public?
can you chat the question, please, Jancy? Jancy chooses nice questions. We have many questions. Guys, acuérdense que los verbos que van en la pregunta son clave. Por eso, si usted no escucha bien la pregunta, dígale al compañero, excuse me, can you repeat the question? Así usted tiene la segunda oportunidad para escuchar ese verbo, porque el objetivo es que usted entienda el verbo, que usted me use ese verbo en la respuesta, ¿ok? Usando el present perfect. Thank you, Jancy. Eh, no, I haven't eh, screamed. Screamed, screamed yet. Okay. Screamed in public yet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, screamed, screamed. Este sonido va a ser D, ok? D sound. Screamed. Um, have you ever screamed at someone in public? Ok. Eh, Carlos, can you, can you repeat? Do it. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> no, you have it. You say you have it, right, Carlos? You have it screamed. Yes, uh, I don't have it. No, no I haven't. I have No, I haven't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y Carlos usó yet. Muy bien. En ese caso es negativo. Aplica. No, I haven't screamed at at no one. Ahí vas a decir at no one. Yo no le he gritado a nadie. Okay. Someone para la pregunta. Okay. En este caso, no one porque es a nadie. I haven't screamed at no one yet. Repeat, Carlos. I have uh, ever screamed no one yet. Let me type it. I, I haven't screamed at no one. Puede decir no one or nobody. No one yet. Yet. Okay, it's chatted, Carlos. Can you try? Yes, I haven't screamed at no one yet. Excellent. Repetimela muchas veces, porfa, para que te acostumbres a lo negativo. Vámonos de regreso con Sam, guys. Uh, we have like three more questions for Sam. Please participate. Go. Hmm, Sam, have you ever forgotten important birthday? Have you ever forgotten an important birthday? I have. I have. Have you, Jancy? Yes. You must have have. <laughs> have you, Samuel? Have you ever forgotten? Forgotten. 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 Yeah? Britannico. Forgotten. Have you ever forgotten? A special birthday, an important birthday. No, I haven't. No, I haven't forgotten important birthday. Okay, entendí que dijiste, no, I haven't forgotten an important birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yet. Aplica. Okay. Yes. I haven't forgotten an important birthday <laughs> yet. Usaste todo lo de la pregunta. Está bien. Oh, I haven't forgotten an important birthday yet. Pudiste haber dicho también, no, I haven't forgotten it. Usando el it, forgotten it. it. Uh -huh. no, I no, I haven't forgotten, haven't forgotten it forgotten. yet. One more question for Sam. I think you work right. Have you ever worked a job you hated? 
Repeat, please. Have you ever worked a job you hated? Eh, Sam, tú tienes el link, ¿verdad? Sí. Have you ever worked a job you hated? No lo encuentro. I chatted on the, I chatted for you. I just chatted for you. Have you ever worked a job you hated? In Spanish is, alguna vez has trabajado, eh, valga la redundancia, en un trabajo que odiabas, que odiaste, que no te gustaba. No, I haven't worked. No, I no, haven't, I haven't worked. worked. Worked, conté, worked. This worked. is un T sound, porque termina con K, ok. Ajá. Worked. No, I haven't worked. worked. I haven't no, worked. I haven't worked. Y vas a agregar, a job worked. I hated. No, I haven't worked. A job I hated. No, I haven't worked. A job I hated. Ok, no he trabajado eso, ¿verdad? Algún trabajo así que no me ha gustado. Hmm. Ok, I have a question for you. Pay attention. What is the best place you have been to? What is the base, the best? What is the best place you have been to? What's the I best have, place you have been to? Uh -huh, go ahead. I have been play basketball. Mm, not really, Sandrita, because you're telling me an activity and I'm asking you for a place. What is the best place you have been to? Bueno, entonces, Samuel, me vas a estudiar todas las preguntas, porfa. Eh, necesito que saques los verbos de todas las preguntas para que expandas tu conocimiento y estés listo para tu interview. Necesito más fluidez. Vamos a entrevistar aquí a Miss Campos. Ojo, Miss Campos, uh, with the questions. Make it fluent, make it fluent. Yo sé que, acuérdense que todos tenemos como que uh, nuestros propios skills, ¿verdad? Y quienes nos cuesta esto un poco más que lo otro. Y así es, right? Entonces acá aprovechemos 
participation, right? No se preocupen que nos, nosotros ya cubrimos el material. Ya estamos solventes. Así que estas clases que tenemos, las vamos a usar para darle al speaking, guys. Para darle al speaking con todo. Entonces, um, Necesito que aprovechemos este tiempo para practicar. Use su inglés, no se me quede. Si usted se va sin participar una clase, siéntase endeudado, así, endeudado, así con el teacher, con sus sueños, porque usted tiene que participar siempre. Ahí están las preguntas. Esto que yo les estoy facilitando las preguntas. No les he dicho que ustedes me las hagan, pero les diré en su momento. Entonces, uh, vámonos con Sandra. Let's make questions to Sandra. Feel free to make questions. Go. Okay, Sandra. Hi, I'm Vamos, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, vamos. Sandra, have you ever dyed your hair? hair? Can you repeat, please? Have you ever dyed? Dyed. Have you ever dyed your hair? Mm, that's a beautiful question. I like it. <laughs> Vea como la sacó de su zona de confort. Huh? I love that. I love that. Eso es lo que yo quiero. Y si me lo puede chat, si me le puede dar copy paste ahí en el chat de un solo para los demás, sería fantástico, Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank okay. you, Elizabeth. Solo siempre acuérdese del capital letter al principio. Ese es un capital H. No se preocupe, mis. Ahí para el futuro, right? Have you ever... Ay, el died. Se fue mal ahí, permítame. Okay. Oh. Ahí está, ahí está. Have you ever died? A ver, chicas, ese verbo tienen que saberlo ustedes, ¿ah? ¿eh? Bueno, los chicos también a veces, ¿verdad? Can you yeah, repeat, yeah. please, other things? Eh, check the chat, check the chat. Have you ever dyed your hair? Ahí te le puse. Have you ever dyed, la última, dyed your hair? D-Y-E-D, -D, dyed. I, I, I dyed. Dyed? Remember, it's a yes, no. So you start with the yes or with the no. Okay. Yes, I died. It. You died it? Yes. You you have died it? <laughs> Ahora, ¿qué, ¿qué expresión podríamos agregar ahí, eh, Sandy? Como, a ver, ¿cuáles eran aquí? Las tenía. Tenía already, yet. Since or for? Have you ever dyed your hair? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. vas a decir. Aha, uh -huh. vas a decir. Yes, I've already dyed it. Yes, I'm already died. Died it. Died it. Ajá. Um, um, already, porque es afirmativo, porque ya lo hice. Sí, yo ya lo he hecho, right? Yes, I've already died it. Okay, ese es el reto, right? Try to use these expressions. Next question, please. Good question, Elizabeth. Eh, ¿Tenías ya si una? Yes, okay, yes. Más. Vamos. Have you ever hunted and killed an animal? Have you ever hunted a cute animal? Is that your question? And killed an animal. Cute. Cute? Cute. C-U-T-E. C-U-T-E. C 
K-I-L-L-E-D. Oh, killed. Yeah. Oh my God. Kill an animal. Have you ever killed an animal? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. yes, I have every day. What do you yes. mean? I will follow your defense. I feel like it. <laughs> All right. But you did it. Okay, yes. but you hunted and killed an animal. Hunted. Hunted is como cazar, cazado. Como de, de, de cazar un animal. Have you ever hunted and killed? No. Like, for example, an iguana. Yeah, an iguana. Some people hunted no, and no, kill no. it. No, no. No? I haven't killed, killed it yet. Mm -hmm. O también puede decir, no, I haven't done that. Repeat. No. I no, haven't done that. I haven't done that. Uh -huh. You know, okay. HOS, right? But you <laughs> mentioned that you have killed them. Oh, yes, Why I you kill a cat it? because the cat, um, it's bad. <laughs> was the cat was sick or something? Mm, the he cat took a that's crazy. Why you did it, Sandra? <laughs> because they they say that cats have like seven or I don't know how many lives. Maybe she did that, huh? I don't remember. I don't remember. No problem. No problem. You were angry, right? Now don't don't yeah. don't keep killing animals, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I am an angel. You're an angel, or uh, you're an angel. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. So you have you have dyed your hair. That's interesting. You have dyed your hair, right? What color have you dyed your? Hair? Uh -huh, that's an interesting question. What color have you dyed it? Repeat. What color have you dyed it? What color have you dyed it? Your hair. Blonde. Red, do you remember? Purple. Purple? Yes. Wow, that's different. I can imagine that. <laughs> you were younger, huh? When you were younger, huh, Sandra? Yes. Ah, ah that's interesting. She, teacher, she. <laughs> I like. I mean, that, I know. That's why I said when she was younger, right? When she was, okay. she's still young. Yeah. She's still young. <laughs> Guys, please, can you please practice these questions? Check these questions. Take some time tomorrow. Check the verbs. Porque ahí hay muchos verbos que no manejamos. ¿Ok? Please do. Y eh, practiquen las, las respuestas usando already, usando yet, usando for, and since. We will continue tomorrow with the present perfect interviews. No se preocupe, Elizabeth. Mañana a usted, Marbelli, Emma, Patricia, Ruth, Sara, también les va a tocar. No okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Good night. Good, Good night, 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 everyone. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>